After a quick rundown from crew chief Cyril Sandusky on how to read the instruments, safety instructions, and signing a waiver, it was time to go up with the Blue Angels. All right, straight up top, and I'll be right behind you. Once hopping in the cockpit, Searle strapped me in, gave me a few words of encouragement, and before I knew it, Captain Jeff Coos was on his way out. Ready, Kevin? But before he hops in the cockpit, one final check of the FA-18 Hornet is made, and Captain Jeff Coos gives me a few more words of wisdom, and final preparations were underway. Top's going to come down, and then we'll start the APU, the auxiliary power unit. With the canopy down, we were ready to go, and in high spirits. After taxiing out the runway, it was time to take off, climbing 9,000 feet in 10 seconds. After getting accustomed to being in air, we go over some quick techniques to help keep me from passing out due to the amount of G-forces we will experience. The first move we pull is a sharp bank turn where we nearly pull seven Gs. Now I'm starting to understand how taxing these maneuvers are on the human body. After experiencing a few sharp bake turns, it was time to loop things over and throw out a little smoke. A move that actually concerned me at first, but was by far the easiest maneuver we did all day. Then, Captain Jeff Coos decided it was time to get a little spicy and flipped us upside down. Actually a relief, because it allowed blood to rush back to my head, allowing me to feel like myself again. With my bearings back, it was time to do some bobbing and weaving through clouds while pulling a couple of barrel rolls, which really threw me for a loop and threw off my equilibrium. And due to time constraints, or really just for your sake, we'll just move forward to later action. Before I know it, the flight is over and we are back on solid ground with an empty stomach and a whole new respect and admiration for what the Blue Angels stand for and what the United States military does for our country.